It's day four uh, at the Bharat Mobility Global Expo. The Expo Services uh, serves as a key platform for companies to launch new products and connect with potential customers. Car makers announced a slew of offerings, especially in the EV space, specifically priced for Indian markets. My colleague Rishabh spoke uh, with the management of Gensol Engineering Car Deco, Map My India on uh, new innovations. Uh, we're at Hero Vida's exhibition right here at the Bharat Mobility Global Expo. And what uh, we are seeing here is the world's first three-wheeler that's convertible to a two-wheeler. Now, this is a two-in-one built electric vehicle that is being uh, innovated here by Hero Vida. What we'll also see is that uh, is that how this process will take place in terms of converting a three-wheeler into a two-wheeler and a two-wheeler into a three-wheeler and vice versa. It's uh, it's a very interesting challenge here, and and as you can see, the the, the three wheeler component of it is currently it's going down. The two wheeler part of it, the scooter, has been set into it, and and the and the wheel has now been locked in. The back wheel of the scooter has been locked in as the front wheel of the third of the three wheeler. Now there's a button that that goes on there. And now the the switch and the switch is happening currently. The scooter is basically becoming a part of the three wheeler now, and this is meant for the use cases of those uh, that currently drive tempos and would also like the convenience of a two wheeler and uh, would also like a dual purpose vehicle in that sense. As we can see, the scooter has now been pushed into uh, the three wheeler and the transformation into a full-fledged three-wheeler will now be complete. What we are seeing today right uh, next to me is Wave Mobility's uh, EVA. Now why we are here is because EVA is India's first solar electric car. Uh, now you can look at the size of it. It is meant purely for urban commute. Uh, it has a very fixed range uh, of up to about 250 kilometers. It can go up to that, but uh, it is meant for very short urban commutes. Uh, if you look inside now, uh, we can see it's meant for two adults and one child as per the company. Uh, it is fit with all the features. Uh, you can see an information cluster here. You can see the instrument cluster here. It's very, very sleek in that look. Uh, it's still in that pro product engineering phase. It's not rolled out to the markets yet. But uh, what we're seeing here is India's first solar electric car. It comes with uh, a, a solar rooftop uh, as we can see now it comes with a panoramic sunroof as well uh, so that so as to one look, it does not feel uh, congested in this uh, what we're also seeing is that this is priced at about 3.25 lakhs for the base variant which is the battery operated uh, which is the battery as a subscription variant so 3.25 and the highest variant can go up to about uh, 6 lakh rupees as well uh, it has uh, a range of about 15 to 20 kilometers purely on the solar charge and the rest can be achieved if uh, one charges the battery so that brings it to about 30 to 35 kilometers a day which is perfect for urban commute uh, stay tuned for a lot more innovations coming out of the auto expo and I'm here at the stall that is set up by Gensol Engineering EV. And what I am seeing here is Ezio. This is the first sort of reverse strike uh, that we're seeing uh, by the Gensol Engineering Group. And uh, Pratik, uh, tell us more about the rationale behind this vehicle, right? Why this vehicle? So when we studied the ride hailing market in India, 70 to 80 percent of the rides are single occupants. And to make it mass mobility and EV adoption uh, increase, uh, we looked at the market size right now. And the market really requires a product which is easy in the city, is cost effective. Uh, so that's what the main thinking behind the product. This product we are launching at Bharat Mobility. This will be in the Bangalore market first in the second half of this year. And this will be about 50% of the price of the next fleet vehicle EV uh, model. 
and running cost at 40 paise per kilometer all this combined in becomes 40 percent saving for the fleet operators so they can either go for high profitability or they can go for market size increase by adopting this vehicle launching it at a much lower price point uh, pre-covid the market was sub 20 rupees a kilometer post-covid because of various factors the market is now in bangalore at least touching 30 rupees a kilometer but the product the customers who were using the fleet of uh, vehicles in a large volume still are waiting for you know uh, that's why the bike taxi market has really taken off and this product with air conditioning with the large storage in the back gives you that complete package of the car feeling we also offer partition in between so you customer can have a complete privacy and safety uh, when they are driving solo yeah uh, Pratik uh, also talk to us about the bookings right uh, it is a B2B product that you're seeing. What sort of uh, bookings do you have and who are these clients? Yes, so these are major ride hailing companies in, in the country, both only EV fleets and uh, other fleets as well. As you know, government policy is pushing all the fleet operators to adopt more and more EVs, but the price of EVs is kind of restricting them. With this price point, we expect that more and more uh, ride hailing companies will come to us and work with us. Uh, we are looking at uh, booking of around 30,000 between this platform and the cargo platform which we are bringing next year. So the interest has been phenomenal. Being at Bharat Mobility has given us the next level of you know, exposure and we expect more and more uh, fleet companies to come and talk to us about this. Awesome, so this was EZO, uh, Gensol's uh, product that is set to sort of disrupt the ride hailing market uh, that has usually uh, been dominated by motorbikes so far given uh, that 70 to 80% of the rides are currently uh, are currently totally driven by one single person, a single passenger rides. And this sort of a car will now uh, replace those motorbikes for a more convenient, for more, uh, for more air conditioned and uh, also offer storage. So stay tuned. When I'm at uh, Car Deco stall with the uh, leaders of Car Deco, so to say, I'm with Amit Jain and Mayank Jain. Thank you so much, sir, for taking the time out. Uh, Amit, uh, just describe to us what you have on display here. Kya innovations hai We are the largely a tech-focused company and a product-focused company, and we disrupted the market through that only. So here we are taking the next leap with AI. You must have been hearing about AI, Chat GPT. What we have done is we have created the Auto GPT practically of India, ai.cardeco.com, which answers everything like an expert. So when people would come to our site, they would come for a specific query. Does this car have a sunroof? Which variant is better? Which car is better? And that's why they use Cardeco. But they have to navigate for minutes to find that information, either in spec section or read. What we have done is we have assimilated all knowledge into our brain of LLM. And it's a custom built LLM that we have come out with and it answers anything with a very rich visual experience. So let's say if you ask for a sunroof, it will show you sunroof picture along with the variance and prices of the variance. So across our different platforms, we get about 50 million people visiting us every month on car dekho, bike dekho, uh, power drift, uh, zig wheels, trucks dekho, tire dekho. And so today with our AI solutions, we want to make the connection between customers and dealers even deeper, richer, and faster. How are we doing that? So we are also launching today uh, it, the first AI voice bot. Now, if you want to actually have a conversation rather than type at a keyboard and figure out which is the right car for you, you can now just dial into a number, speak to an AI voice bot, and the AI voice bot will be able to guide you through your entire car buying journey. And we are training it to be the world's best car salesperson. So that's what we are doing, and we are unveiling those solutions today at Auto Expo. I think the timing is great as well. If you see today at Auto Expo, so many new cars are going to get launched. And so if anyone wants to understand which car will be the right car for them, all they need to do is come to ai.cardeco.com and we'd be able to help them. Awesome. So uh, a very AI-fueled uh, sort of innovation center here by Car Deco. Stay tuned for more coverage from Auto Expo. When I'm at the uh, exposition here by Maples Map My India, thanks so much, sir. I'm joined by Rakesh Verma as well as the, the CEO, uh, COO rather, Sapna. Uh, thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, firstly, tell us uh, what's on display here. What's the new sort of innovations that Map My India is bringing out this auto expo? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the theme this year is navigating mobility and intelligence. Basically, it makes the car more intelligent and there are several parts of it that we are supporting the OEMs 
and I'll let Sapna describe one after the other and tell you more in detail. Sure. I believe it will be a good idea to take you through the overall stall sure. to explain what we are doing in this uh, space. But broadly speaking, we are an auto technology company, deep tech auto technology company, uh, focused on both maps and location technology. Uh, our core platform for automotive organizations is called NCASE. Uh, which is navigation connected autonomous shared electric mobility platform and there are a lot of innovation in each of these areas that we have done which will make the vehicle more intelligent smarter and safer i think that's really the need for the vehicles today and that's where um, everybody is talking about but what mapmind is doing mapmind is delivering and we have we are showcasing a lot of our solutions uh, across uh, this entire booth in different sections. Right. So I would like to take you through that. Is that OK? We'll do that. We'll do OK. That. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Verma, one, one question. Uh, uh, most of these solutions, would they be B2B, or uh, are you also exploring consumer-facing solutions? Uh -huh. So you know, we are a B2B and a B2B2C company. So when you see this B2B2C, that's consumer only. But it is going, one channel is the automotive OEMs, the other channel is direct, which is our Maples app. And Maples app today has be becoming more and more popular. In the last uh, few months, we have crossed 30 million mark. So we are very proud of it, and we are bringing in, I can say it a little in advance, that we are uh, beyond the junction view, which makes your car safer at the time of flyover, or our maps help you make sure that it doesn't you don't land up in sea or a water or uh, fall out of the bridges or land up in some unknown ins unsecured or in insecure places these are some of the characteristics of the quality of our map data